Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add in such realistic looking muzzle flashes to your prop guns or any sort of toy guns using DaVinci Resolve. Now, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So I've been doing a lot of tutorials recently and uh, most of them were very easy tutorials. Let's take it up a notch. And uh, I mean, it's not very difficult, but still, it involves a lot of steps. Now, once you hear fusion, I know it sounds scary. I personally am scared to use it as well because you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'll try my best explaining everything. But once you understand step by step, everything becomes so easy. So do not skip the video because I'll be covering a lot of important steps in between. So feel free to watch the full video to know how it's done. Now this is a footage of many gun muzzle flashes that I downloaded from the net. I'm going to make this a new fusion clip and then come to fusion right here. So fusion is really simple. Like if you understand it, it's very easy. You have the video and you have the output and it's connected with this line right here. So this is our video. I'm going to name this to main shot. It's always better to name out the videos because it'll be easy for you to work on it. Now let me just drag in the muzzle flash. And I just need to connect it from this point to this point right here. It will automatically create a merge node. Now let me rename this muzzle. Right there. Now you can see that uh, this video is the media out. You can see as per this indication right here, it's in the second screen. If you want to see anything in the first screen, just press one on your keyboard. So if you want to see what's happening here, you can press one on this keyboard right here. Now you can see muzzle is on screen one. Now let me change the blending type as I showed you before. I'm going to change it to screen. Now select this keyframes. You want to adjust where you want the flashes to come. So I don't want the muzzle to happen here. So I can just uh, check the position where I want the muzzle to come. Yeah, maybe here. So I can adjust by dragging this like this. Yeah, maybe right there. You get the point. You adjust it as per your requirement. Now for changing the position, come to merge, change the center point. You can drag it from here itself and maybe adjust the angle like this. There you go. Now close the keyframe. Now once I play it, you can see Now you can see if I play it, yes, uh, so it's, so that's the one I want. Now let's add in uh, the recoil for the gun. For adding this gun to recoil, what I have to do is there is a tool on Fusion called Mat Control. So just press Shift plus Spacebar and then type in Mat Control Add. Now from here I have to join to this yellow okay and then from the output I have to drag back to the main shot because I want to mask this with the same footage itself so it will automatically create a merge node now I select a polygon this is a mask okay Select the polygon and let me draw a mask. Just draw a rough mask because the recoil only lasts for one second. So you don't have to be very accurate in drawing this mask. And just join this to the green of matte control. Then you have to select matte control and you have to select, uh, you have to change this combine to 
combine alpha and then come down post multiply image now let me just soften the edges of the mask uh, yeah I think that's fine I come to merge let me make it screen too and now as you can see I can move around this particular part from the screen like this so now you need to keyframe so what I'm gonna do is let me find the shot where I'm firing uh, let me put this to screen 1 change this to fit yeah right there this is where I want the recoil to start so let me select the merge node and move this oh sorry move this a little bit a little bit back now let me keyframe it you see blend here I add the keyframe to one go one frame back just press the left arrow and then blend I want to be zero and then again a frame after the shot again I want the blend to be zero so you only want the firing frame where the blend is one uh, rest two points you want the blend to be zero so now if I play you can see there is a recoil that's happening it's only for a few fraction of seconds but it really sells in the effect you can also add motion blur uh, to make it more convincing for that what I have to do is click on matte control shift plus spacebar then search for directional blur and in the directional blur selected I can just uh, increase the length slightly and it will make your motion blurry see so it's more convincing like this it's really such minute things that really sells in the effect now let's add in the bullet shell yeah this is the video of the bullet shell that I have I'm going to rename this to shell and next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this right here let me select this media out to be screen 2 uh, we have to fix this it's not where I want it to be I have to change the blending mode to screen by coming to merge and then decrease the size and maybe change the position right there okay now again come to the frame where the firing is happening yes right there so select the keyframe again adjust the shell where you want the the action to be happening somewhere around there is fine now come to merge we have to do a keyframe so let me just reduce the size a bit more okay so what I have to do is select blend select keyframe and also position center select keyframe so in this shot you want the bullet to be here select one frame before change the blend to zero again come right one more frame to the right you want the bullet somewhere around here I mean not the bullet the, the shell and the frame after that I want to I'll make the blend zero so you have like a smooth animation so now you can see the shell is flying away from the gun now here also I can add in directional blur to make it uh, to create that motion blur and let me select the frame let me increase the blur slightly yeah I think that would do now you can see that as I'm firing this 
the areas around it is supposed to glow so for that what i have to do is select this one right here background and just join this to the footage and i'm going to change the background color to like something like red press okay now you can see the full video is covered by background you don't want that for that you have to select a mask so let me select uh, the polygon mask right here so whichever area you draw that portion becomes like uh, the background will act upon those regions so let me just draw a mask here you see the background got affected there i want to soften the image soften the edge and come to merge and maybe change it to screen yeah that's fine now similarly uh let me just change the color to a bit more yellow a little more orange also now i can select one more polygon and just highlight this region as well same approach i want to soften the edge you know it's all these minor details that really sells in the effect so you can adjust as much as you want uh like wherever you can add as many polygon layers as you want so now you have a bit more convincing effect now the final image will look even better once you color grade them now as you can see uh, i don't want this uh highlight to be always there in the frame i only want it when the fire is shot so for that you have to do a sort of keyframe same like this the shot where i'm firing i want the blend to be 1 a frame before i'll change the blend to 0 and again a frame after the firing again i'll change the blend to 0 so you only have that happening in just that frame now for the second shot as you can see it's almost similar approach but i've performed a tracking to the gun so that the muzzle will follow the gun as you can see here it's given to a tracker so as i move the gun the muzzle will follow so if you want a tutorial for this do let me know i i'll be happy to do that as well now i hope you guys learned something from this uh, it was a fun little project uh, so why don't you guys also try it out for yourself if you guys have any questions or suggestions do let me know in the comments so uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one